Hello guys, this week I will try to answer a few interesting questions. Well, how to find the V1 Rotate and V2 speeds for an Airbus A320 and a 737? First of all, I will try to clarify what are these speeds. So V1 is the takeoff decision speed, where you either decide to continue or stop the takeoff. Rotate, VR, is the speed where you start lifting the nose up for takeoff and V2 is the one engine out safe climbing speed. I would also like to tell you that this is not the full performance calculation procedure. This is just the final sheet for calculating the V speeds. So let's first of all look at the 737. So first of all we identified the chart as the takeoff speed chart for the 737-300. Then we go into the column reference table. We have to check our temperature against our pressure altitude. So let's say we have 6,000 feet of pressure altitude at our aerodrome and we have 20 degrees centigrade of temperature. Now this puts us into the B column. Now knowing this information, we go downwards into the B column, which is situated right here and we have to find our weight against our flap setting. So let's say we will be using flaps 5 and our weight is 50 tons. At this weight and this flap setting we have our speeds F at 129 knots for the V1, 131 knots for the VR and 139 knots for the V2. Now knowing the V speeds we have to also check them against slope and wind. So we do this here. Slope, let's say that we have a downward slope of 1%. Because this is 2, we have to divide this, the number given by 2. So this gives us a correction of minus 1. And for the wind, let's say that we have a 10 knot headwind and because we only have 40 here we have no adjustment at all. So our final V speeds for this takeoff would be 129 minus 1 128 VR speed 131 and the V2 speed 139. So after we found out how to calculate the V-speeds for the 737, let's check how we do it on the Airbus A320. So we first of all identify the table for the Airbus A320-233 with IAE engines. And we can see that the chart is for Frankfurt Main Airport, runway 07 center, with wet conditions. Uh, here we can read the general conditions of the runway if we need them. Uh, we can see that we have seven obstacles. And here we can see the general conditions for the aircraft and for the weather. Well, the QNH 1013 standard, air conditioning off, anti icing off, our reverse is inoperative, and that is the dry check. What we do now is find our weight figure against the wind. So let's say that we have a headwind of 10 knots at Frankfurt and our weight is 70 tons. So we go all the way down until we find 70.3, which is right here. Uh, we can always go a little bit above our weight, which, well, in this case 70.3, but we can never go below. So 69 would be unacceptable already. So at 70.3 tons, we can read off that our V speeds are 153, 155 and 156 knots. We could also check it in the configuration 2 table on our right, searching for headwind of 10 knots and the weight of 70 tons. 
So we go all the way down and the closest we can use is 71.1. This is generally just to see, um, compare the speeds and see which flap setting is better for the takeoff. So let's now stay with the configuration one plus flaps. And after having determined our speeds, we have to check the influence of delta pressure, which we can find here. What this means is that if we have a different pressure than the standard, minus 10 or plus 10 hectopascals, we should do some corrections accordingly. And then we have the influence of anti-icing only below OAT of 10 degrees centigrade, which you can see right here. And you have two options to choose from. We have engine only anti-ice and engine and wing anti-ice. And of course, accordingly, we would do corrections noted in this table. Then what you can see is that our weight with the speed is in the 66 degrees column. But it has this gray area here. What this means is that, well basically we could use a flex temperature or the assumed temperature of 66 degrees centigrade, which means that the engines would think that they are at 66 degrees and uh, act accordingly. But the gray area means that we have to go down right to here and read that the maximum temperature we could use would be 54 degrees centigrade. So no matter that we were in the 66 degrees centigrade zone, we can only use 54 max. There is some more general data here, for example, minimum acceleration height, maximum acceleration height, but this would be further determined with the performance charts and the airport charts. And the last thing I would like to note is that if we had a weight which is less than anything displayed in this chart, we would do a correction for V1, VR, V2 from the lowest figure we can use of one knot per 1,000 kilograms. So this is the general idea how to find the speeds for the Airbus. So I hope that it became a little bit clearer to you how do we do this? And uh, if you want, you can send us some more questions or comments or suggestions. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.